Hey guys, how's it going? This is Max from Center Music House. I'm here with another Zoom tip for teachers and students. This one is about audio quality on an iPhone or an iPad or any smart device for that matter. One of the most common complaints we hear from people uh, regarding online lessons is if a student is using a smart device like an iPhone or an iPad or any phone or a tablet, the audio quality really stinks. One of the big reasons for that is Zoom has these built-in audio processors that when it detects a large spike in volume will suppress the audio. It might sound fine on your end, but on their end, all of a sudden it sounds like the student is underwater, audio level is up and down, it's just really inconsistent. It takes away from the quality of the lesson because the teacher can't actually hear what the student is playing. But there's big news in the world of Zoom. There is a new update and now if you're using a smart device, you can do what's called enable original sound on your device. And what that does is it will disable any of those audio processors. So you get a nice clean audio signal unhindered by those audio processors on Zoom. Just to show you what that sounds like, I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. All right, so check it out. My friend. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to enable original sound on your phone. So the first thing to know is that you can't do this in the middle of a meeting. So once you've left a meeting, you click on the settings button in the bottom right hand corner. Then you click on meetings. And then you scroll down and you wanna look for something that says use original sound. and you turn that on, okay? Now, when you join a meeting, let me do that. Step two is you click on more, and then you click on enable original sound. So now your iPhone is sending original sound to the Zoom meeting clean, I think this is gonna improve the audio quality for a lot of lessons. We always encourage all of our students to use a laptop or a desktop computer, because if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can't send and receive files in Zoom. And also you can't connect directly to the internet by plugging into a router, which is gonna give you the best connection. If you have a laptop or a desktop, definitely use that. If you don't, and you're only using an iPhone or an iPad, definitely follow these steps. It's gonna improve the quality of your lesson a lot. All right, so hope that helps guys. Good luck out there. Until next time. Hey everyone, Max here from Center Music House. If you're interested in learning how to play an instrument with one of our instructors, go to centermusic.com slash online dash lessons and you can sign up for a free trial music lesson. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get updates when we release new videos and that kind of thing. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below or email our tech support team at help at centermusic.com. Thanks and have a great day.